Hey y'all, I'm Alex with Soil Mix of Georgia and today we are down at the farm and we've been assigned a new project by my cousin. The uh, fence line over here, there's a hole somewhere that cows are getting out. So we are walking the fence line now to see if we can find it and then for the first time ever for Susie and me, we're gonna try to patch it. So this might be an interesting day for us. Come along. Sorry if the, the volume is a little bit messed up or just a little bit jumpy. I didn't bring the stabilizer or the microphone because we're back in the woods. And it didn't really make sense to try to haul that in. So we're, all we're doing is going through and just walking the whole fence line all the way through this brush down here. We um, try not to fall. Uh, my dad's up there ahead of us. So... We're going to see if there's anything we can find. And there's stuff in here. I mean, this these kind of hog panels that have been here for probably 50 years. Different barbed wire. I can see where it's been patched before. Like this old post here. That, that's still actually pretty good. Uh, so we're just going to keep on walking and see what we can find. All right, so we've got a strand up there where my dad is. And a T-post we just put in. The ground is so soft. It's been raining so much. So we hope it's going to hold. But then we're going to use this tree. We're going to use this tree as the next post. That looks good enough. Okay. Yeah, I try, we're trying to use these nails. But they don't fit on there perfectly. But I think this is going to be good and taut. And I'll wrap it around here and tie it. But also put a nail on it. So dad, think, look at the height. And see if I should come. I think I should come a little lower. That's what I was looking at. So we don't want to start pretending we're all set oh, until. Set. Yeah, okay, no, that's good there. Okay, so we're good. I'll nail that in there. Yeah, we and we can tie that. Come from the other side, Dad. Is there a hook on over there? There's a hole. All right, see if you can pull it more taut. And then if we take that, maybe we can. Can we hook and, it under this one here? We can't. Well, you know what? The angle it could go through here. Um, I mean, it could come down or up. So let's see, it could go around that, and it still covers that. It doesn't cover the yeah, bottom, right. but it covers this. Okay. If we just, I'm just going to bend it here. Is what I was saying. Okay. I think this post is awesome here. It's just a cedar cut off, and it looks like you got that buried in there. But cedar lasts so long, and since we have so many invasive cedar in here, we use them for our benefit when we can. But you can see it just tied on there and clamped on both sides, pulling both directions and nailed in. But that's just good basic farming using the resources you have on hand. So I'm taking, I'm using this tree. This old post is falling off. So we're just using some of the old wire. Well, we used to use these uh, cedars. Yeah, and wrap that's it around close, here. They, they could so and that'll hold it on to give it something there so hopefully that's enough to, to hold on and it's a little bit loose so as the tree grows it should be okay yeah, that's not <laughs> we put this old wire on here I'm gonna leave it on there but it's um, pretty fragile so we're coming back for reinforcements and hopefully this one will be good enough to stay on there if I can keep it. I might need the pliers to add to. No, I got it now. And it doesn't have to be that fancy on there, I don't think, to hold it. You can keep, keep it sort of loose though. Yeah, so it's got enough room to, to move okay. as the tree grows some. But that's, I mean, that could be another 10 years, maybe. Yeah. Okay, that was We good. found the problem spot it looks like everything's just falling over here oh, boy. <laughs> there is there's nothing holding up there's one post here that's falling that it's tied to but it's, that's just they can even walk over that with barely lifting their knees okay so they found the spot that the cows were going over um it's basically all just fallen to the ground 
and the hose is like completely rotted. Um, see how this is falling and over? We, so I'm trying to figure it out. You're going to put a T post there? Yeah, we need to put a post in here and replace this because that's just, that's firmly. Do we do one there and there? Yeah. Or somewhere in the middle? Well, we've got to put. If you, you lift your left we hand. Have, we have to put one right in the hand. Yeah. That mm -hmm. one's okay there. Uh, but this is no good here. Alex, so, can you detach the wire from this big post? Yeah, I think it I seems can pull like, that out. Seems like that's what's pulling it down. You need to get the new wire. But, yeah, yeah, I will. Okay. So here's the question. Because so it's getting pulled down. That Should we go ahead and pull the um, nails out here? Because that's pulling it down. And just get rid of this. This is that's Rain. nothing there, but I think it's more it's hurting it more than helping it. And you can leave it there and put the uh, put the new. But is that just going to weigh on the post and make it fall down? And it's not going in the ground, so it's just a. Uh, okay. I think yeah, let's get rid of it. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Okay. Yeah, in. Yeah. It's going in. We had five. That's total. only the second one we put in. That's only the second one, oh, okay. right? I think so. No, that's going to have to go. So this, that I thought we were doing the top one, but you're you're lined up where I think it will be good on the bottom. Yeah, it will be. Uh, it's going to have to. We can't. Yeah. Oh, right, it doesn't make sense. Uh, it has to be right in Is this tangled down? No, I, I'm still unrolling it. It still unrolls. Okay. As long as I hold it this way, I'm still unrolling. Come, yeah, come with the bottom part. Let me see your right hand. I can see the path through here. There. How much more does You want me to go ahead and nail that? Yeah, nail that one in. I could do a second now if you think it'd be. No, I don't think it's not. It's not going crazy now. Is it tangled on the end? I started off with a t shirt, long johns, <laughs> sweatshirt, and my jacket. You sure have your long johns on? Yeah, but I had a long john shirt on too. Oh, God. So we finished up and Susie ended up walking through the marsh to show where you just went. She uh, braved the marsh in here where it's all swampy and checked it out while my dad and I were working on the fence up here. But that looks pretty good. So <laughs> we think this is our final spot. And what we did was just <laughs> almost fell. We just nailed it in a tree there, nailed it in a tree there and just a short strand. And so we have a few of those we had to just not even use a T-post, but just find a way to patch it. And that's what most of this fence is. It'd be nice if we had it all cleared out and we ran T-post the whole way and had it all in there, but it's just patched up. There's some old cedar trees. We would just uh, grab them from the trees in the forest in here and stick them in and use them as a post. Uh, and as I actually brought my chainsaw down here in case we needed to cut off a, a tree and just use part of it as a post, but we didn't have to. So there's another spot up here uh, that we've done. We ended up using three of our T posts and uh, almost a whole roll of the, well, it was a short uh, roll of barbed wire left over. But I think we're all good now. Now the cows should stay on our property, which is the goal. So <laughs> thanks for watching, y'all. We appreciate it. And we'll see you on the next video. Thanks.